Welcome to the SQL Server Fast Execution Plan video training presented by Hugo Cornelis. Block 2 of this video course is completely devoted to execution plan operators that read data. These are incredibly important when troubleshooting a slow running query because many performance issues eventually turn out to be caused by a bad choice of data access strategy. In the basic level of block 2, we explain the basics of scan, seek and lookup operators by describing how they work on the default and most used storage architecture, heaps and normal clustered and non-clustered indexes. To ensure proper understanding, the first chapter explains the conceptual idea of each of these data structures and then shows how SQL Server stores them internally. The illustrations used in this chapter will be used again in later chapters, to visualize how various operators navigate the data in these structures. Chapter 2 covers the scan operators that basically read all data from a table or index. You'll see animations of how data is accessed when a table scan reads data from a heap, or when an index scan reads data from a clustered or non-clustered index. In the latter case, there are even three different ways the data can be accessed. You will also learn what the various properties of these operators mean. In chapter 3 we divert our attention to the seek operators that use the structure of an index to find just the row or the small subset of rows that it needs. You will once more see animations to visualize how the operator navigates the index structure to find the data it is looking for and will show the important properties of these operators. The chapter ends with a short discussion on index tuning. In the fourth chapter we cover lookup operators. For tables with a clustered index, a lookup is very similar to a clustered index seek. For heap tables the lookup does functionally the same, but the access pattern on the underlying data structure is completely different. When a predicate gets pushed down in a lookup, then a logical error in how SQL Server handles adaptation of the properties causes some weird issues with row counts. We'll explain why. We will also cover all other important properties of lookup operators, and the chapter concludes with some thoughts on how smart index design, and especially choice of clustered index, can reduce the need for lookups. The final chapter covers a few special scan operators. The constant scan is the only scan operator that does not read its data from an external source. Instead, all the data it will return is hard-coded in the execution plan. This is typically used when queries contain hard-coded data. But a constant scan can also sometimes be used to support specific optimization strategies for instance when working with partitioned data. The inserted scan and deleted scan are only used in triggers when the trigger code uses the inserted or deleted pseudo tables to access rows that were affected by the data change operation that caused the trigger to fire. The entire level boasts over 2 hours and 45 minutes of content so there is obviously a lot more in there that did not fit in this short preview. But I hope that I've shown enough to whet your appetite.